Hello. I guess I'm going to do this because it beats taking a million pictures. If you see anything that you'd like more detail about, let me know. And I will gladly show you whatever you want in pictures. The interior is pretty much just stock. Headliners all there. And let me see if I can get the mileage. It is 8,271. Everything works except for the clock at this point. The dash pad is in great shape. No cracks. I do have this unfortunate thing. Somebody hit me in a parking lot and did not leave their information. It's not really bent in that far. But it is definitely there. As you can see, it's not very deep. It's a little dark in here, but let me get back a little bit. These grills I taped off and painted all the low areas so they look really sharp. I don't know, you can't really see, it's kind of dark. But anyway, you can see the bumper's in good shape. The grills are painted up, taillights are nice. All the windows work. I have done control arm bushings, upper and lower ball joints. I have done a high efficiency radiator core, three rows wide. The high efficiency is how close the fins are. If you look at other radiators, the fins are much further apart. When I had it done, the gentleman said that it had its original Harrison tanks. So what he wanted to do was reuse the cooler and the tanks on the new three-core offset high-efficiency middle. We had to do an offset, and we could not do a four-core because... By design, it is very close to the radiator. I mean, I'm sorry, very close to the fan. I have put on an internal regulated alternator off of an old Chevy truck. I did, of course, plugs, wires, cap, rotor, fuel filter, hoses, belts, flush power steering, new master, New brake lines, power steering return hose, I have done a rebuilt water pump, I have done cam gears, changing them to metal, not plastic coated. I added a horn, I don't remember, I think it's a D note, but it's an AC Delco. Still have
have a T3 in the top there. The grill's in good shape. Um, lower bumper's in good shape. Heat works well. Oh, it does have a cracked exhaust manifold. However, I have a used, almost like new, manifold in the trunk. Let me see. Hopefully that's well enough lit we can see what it looks like back there. I also added a mercury switch to a light in the trunk. I have two other hubcaps like that sitting there that aren't, aren't for the car, so I just keep them in there. They spare the old belts. Old fuel pump was weak but didn't quit working, so of course I carry it. Cadillac manifold. The manual, goodness sakes. And this manifold, as you can see, I hope, is very nice almost unused I was going to put it on but I just haven't had a minute period let me see if this pulls back you can see the trunk um, this is just a surface dusty dust it's not it's not rust Pretty much the underside of the car is in really nice shape. I still have the cardboard in all the way around. It's about the same condition all the way around. Um, this is a limited slip differential car. It has the jacking instructions. It also has, well, I gotta hurry up, it's raining. Um, that is the engine number that I believe they also use as a VIN on the title for some dumb reason. Power seat that does not go back and forth. I think it's just a cable problem. But um, there are three cables under there, and if the one that has a kink is repaired, I'm pretty sure the thing will work just fine. When you move the switches, you can feel and hear the motors, the drive motors under there clicking. So the switch and the motors are all good. It's just the one kinked cable won't allow it to function i think they all have to be free spinning let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see more detail i'll be glad to send you sorry it's so long but i'm hardly a professional at this as you can see have a good one bye